Scorpio. Hey, hey, hey. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and like this video, okay? Hit that red subscribe button. Turn on the notifications. Baby, I have my Yoni Steams Love Oils, Prosperity, um, Protection Kits, Sugar Scrubs, Feminine Washes. All that information is in the description box below if you guys are interested, all right? So let's go ahead and get it started with my Scorpio babies. For the month of February 2020, guys, collectively, thank you guys. Sun, moon, rising, collectively, what are the messages for my Scorpios? What are the messages for my Scorpios? Money for my Scorpios collectively, sun, moon, rising. Sun, moon, rising collectively for February 2020. What messages do I have for finances and money? Okay. Alright, so your overall energy star. Hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, positivity. Alright, so the first thing I got was you guys can be wishing for an Aquarius or wishing for things to happen here. I'm also getting like your hard times are over. There's it's new things to embrace, new experience to embrace. Okay, some of you guys can also be seeing 11-11. Strength. This can also be you having to persevere through something or push forward, have the courage to go forward through something. Strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, and forgiveness. So this definitely talks about forgiving yourself. Scorpios having the strength to move forward because you guys are being guided. Okay, I'm also getting... The strength is also Leo. So I'm getting Leo, Aquarius. I'm getting Scorpio, Sagittarius. I'm getting Gemini, Libra. Okay, I'm getting all the signs here. So, however this resonates with you, I definitely feel like there's some type of, there's a need for you guys to, I guess, be patient or have have more uh, kindness or be more kind to yourself, be more gentle with yourself at this time. Scorpio is what I'm hearing. Now, let's get into your money, alright? So, I definitely feel like the first week of February, what the hell is, what's going on? You guys are unhappy. Why? Why are you guys unhappy here? I feel like you guys are trying to balance out your emotions here. The high priestess. This can be some type of knowledge that maybe I've told you guys before. So maybe listen to the last videos or listen to the Scorpio videos posted previously so you can get more information. But the high priestess is also someone that is uh, that sees the unseen, hears the unheard. Okay, like a tarot reader such as myself here. So maybe there's some type of information that you guys didn't want to hear or listen to um, when it came to either a relationship, the lovers here, okay, could be a connection, all right, with you trying to balance things out because something didn't work, the two of cups. So I feel like some of you guys had a, a work relationship. Some of you guys can also be, I'm getting messing with your boss or this is like a work relationship here, the ten of cups, it's not be a family business or something with to do with. The will, okay, the will of fortune and the queen of swords. There is some type of endings or there's things that are wrapping up because you have to cut things off when it comes to what you, what your, I guess, cause it's like a lot of relationships, Scorpio. So the lovers and the two of cups, there's two different relationships on the board. Someone that you dealt with for a long time and someone that you just met, okay? So I feel like you guys are trying to balance out two relationships at work. This is really what I'm hearing. You guys can be dealing with a boss or a co-worker or this can be both of these uh, relationships simultaneously. I'm also getting some of you guys have work wives, work husbands, trying to balance things out. But I feel like it's because of a relationship or something is revolved around a relationship, either a personal relationship that didn't work out or something at work that didn't work out here. I'm also getting when it comes to a family business, it's like some of you guys are unhappy because you wanted a relationship, a relationship to turn into a family business or for this person to be involved in something is what I'm getting. Okay. I'm also you seeing like you guys are unhappy with trying to balance out your emotions here because again, Scorpio, you guys know that you have to cut things off or there's things that need to be cut off here. 
okay? There's things that needs to be cut off. You guys can also be single parents, okay? You guys can also be just unhappy with how things are going. This can also be, the cups can also be some of you guys can be drinking. Or it's kind of like something happened at a job where something was drink. Like you either were, something is like you and your lover got drunk at a job or something like that is also what I'm hearing. But I'm also getting some of you guys may have went to work drunk or something. I don't know why I just heard that. But it's also like you guys have some type of love relationship with, with, uh, With work, like I keep just saying, your boss, your 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 boss, your coworkers. I'm also getting maybe this is just relationships or connections around you, but it's like something something. It's like you know that you have to cut whatever this is. It's gonna be friendships, connections, whatever this is. You have to cut something off in order for you to be balanced or for you to feel whole. Again, is also what I'm hearing Scorpio for some of you. I don't know if that resonates, but I just feel like a lot of you guys you're you're being guided to look at why you're not being happy or why you're not being fulfilled when it comes to uh people around you connections around you because that's really what i felt but i'm also getting some of you guys are needing to watch out when it comes to dealing with somebody like i guess like a manager a boss in a sexual way or co-workers okay because i just feel like no scorpio sun moon rising collectively Collective, just make sure, look, if you're going to be doing something, you got you to make sure that these people are not, like, like videotaping or trying to do stuff, like, underhandedly as well, Scorpio. Because I specifically got a work, like, environment, okay? A warehouse. Something like that. Like, it just doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound right. Scorpios, you and your boo, you and your boo, thank you. What messages do I have? You and your boo, Scorpios, you and your boo, you and your boo. Alright, so you definitely can be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, a Scorpio, a Libra, could be any of the signs. This can be in their, any placement in their chart, or this can be you, okay? I definitely feel like you're content with how things are going. You can be single, but I feel like some of you guys are making emotional, irrational um, decisions at this time. You guys may not be thinking clearly. I'm also getting some of you guys can be over drinking or over indulging in drinking as well. Because I feel like some of you guys are make are, you guys are having a soft approach, but it's like, it's like you being, like, you guys may not be, okay, you guys can be drinking a lot or you guys can be overindulging and drinking. This can also be, like, making hasty decisions, not really thinking clearly when it comes to communication, when it comes to a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius that's coming in, like, so sweet or, like, they want to talk to you or this can be how you're acting towards them. But I feel like the world reverse, someone is like, look, I don't want to deal with that. I, I thought this was over. You already broke my heart. You already did A, B, and C. I don't want to deal with this. If someone is being very cutthroat, either you or someone else is getting blocked, okay? Judgment reversed because the truth has come out about a third-party situation. Somebody was lying, cheating, sneaking, either giving a wand away or giving a yoni away here. There was a lot of emotional manipulation. The magician reversed. Somebody was also emotionally manipulating somebody when it came to a third-party situation because I feel like somebody was also asking if, if this is a third party or if somebody was getting involved in a b and c and somebody kept making it seem like oh no 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 i like you i like you or this is you however it goes okay i just see somebody walking away tired exhausted feeling beat up betrayed feeling like damn well how many times am i gonna go through this i've been going through this for the last 13 months 13 years that's what some of y'all saying or some of y'all keep saying I, I keep dealing with heartbreak or people that's unchoked untrustworthy or people that's a b and c okay so that's really what I get for February. I do feel like a lot of you guys are really going to, some of you guys, I really just feel like you guys are going to be feeling like, look, I'm so done, okay? I'm done with this. I'm done with this. I'm done with you. F you. F you. F you. Like, I just feel like there's a lot of, like, um, anger. And I feel like you guys block this person or someone is blocking you, okay? So peace, love, and light, guys. I love you like I love myself. This is your February 2020 reading.